Okay, today I'm here with the WordPress customization error problem. Which are some my problem have been facing. And, uh, my friends are facing the problem and they have posted their queries. So this is my online website. One of my client. This is the TPS Foundation dot in, and I had made this website fully by the using theme Zerif as you can see this. And uh, I had also customized their uh, photo section and their uh, pre-built CSS. I had edited their properties and I also removed the unwanted links which I don't want to display here. And I also edited the copyright TPS foundation powered by and this color and given the link over here. If you will keep, click on this, this will be redirected to my Facebook page. And I had also provided the link here on the Facebook and Twitter. And first of all, we will see how I had written this. This many of men quite aware of this. Just go to the customization page, and uh, on customization, there is an appearance in below appearance. Appearance. Just click on customize. When you click on customize, uh, something like this will be opened. Just click on the general option. In general option, click on general, and at the bottom you can see i had written this okay copyright this whatever you will uh, you will be uh, you will write here it will be get printed here okay the first thing is this uh, which we have covered <coughs> and the second thing which we want to do is we have to edit the css properties of this see quite blue in color of the facebook it's the getting to the true color which they are using a uh, slight uh, greenish color or whatever you can say, I can't say the color name properly because I'm not aware about this color quite. So <coughs> I had, but I had quite changed the color of mm, to Twitter. So just see what I have done here. Just go to the appearance. In appearance, I will show you one straight dashboard. Of oh, internet gone slow. Okay, when you put your mouse on the appearance, one pop up will be generated. Just click on editor. By clicking on editor, you will be open the page like this. Okay, this is the style of CSS. Okay, and first we want to edit the footer section. Okay, this we call in there it is the footer section which they have defined, and they have also given the class like footer. I will show you in the CSS. See, this is our CSS. And there is also a name footer, the typography one class, they are defined by the heading and buttons, they have all the buttons CSS is going on here and elements, some element tags are there and colors and border buttons, sorry border buttons and what we are searching for, forms, no we are searching for the footer section, this, this is the link visited you can all check it through here menus menu color main navigation ULLI by using they have given the all the properties and we are searching for the footer 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 where is the footer widgets widgets content post just scroll it down it will be somewhat down to the footer we will see from the bottom Responsive WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin in the WordPress which we use for the online marketing. And along with that, you can also use many other plugins for social plugin and many other plugin which is free of cost on the WordPress. You can just install it and activate it. Uh, there the hell is gone. You know, sorry for quite a long time. Search blog. See, one more thing I will show you. Footer. This gentleman is quite sitting here. Okay, this is the footer class. They have defined company details, color, company details, edge over color, company details, uh, icon, copyright. See, in uh, copyright, you will notice I had given the color white smoke. You can see the color is not totally white, it is quite white, is white smoke. So, what properties I had given here will be applied there. So first of all, what we have to edit the footer.php page, just click on the footer.php, it is in the right side menu icon, just click on the footer and by clicking on footer.php, it will be 
get to time just do one thing before editing make the backup of all these original files just control a control c and paste it somewhere okay and i have changes the code on the notepad i will show you uh, here i had divided the line into three to understand you and see on the screen properly see the uh, in what was that define one class for the user if copyright we have no issue we want to focus on this i had used this class zerif copyright okay which is defined where in footer copyright so whatever we are changing in the copyright if you want to change the color if you want to change the text align whatever by writing it here just take the class okay and the class is being called here by the dot and just change the color to white smoke and back to again the php code you will see i had used the 2p element why i did the 2p element to display my text downwards see powered by in one line and of the trans in one line so i had also used the inline css color this margin top 5 pixel font family i have given the font family so this is script which you can see it here okay this font style and this font style is quite different from both of them because for this p element i had used this css this is one p element okay and this all will come in the a tag this a tag get opened there this is the a tag which is giving access to the class copyright i have called this class here and one more thing you will notice by pressing the mouse at over it will change the color as i have mentioned in the beginning of my video so how can it these properties just slide up same way on the footer.php and you will notice it here that they have defined the facebook element footer element linkedin element and to give the icon we use papa facebook this is the predefined keyword okay so to change the color of the facebook at over i had called it i had given our li here in li they have given i just implemented my custom id i used this id id is equal to fb okay and this fb i had called it here see id is calling by uh, hash so i use has ah over which color i want i had put it here if you put it here red so on mouse touch over you will see here red okay so before applying css in any of your wordpress first get access to the class where it is being called so it is being called here So I just added the ID, and one more thing, I have removed this extra um, unwanted link which I don't want to display. LinkedIn, Behance, don't remove it from here because it will give a fatal error. Just remove this CSS from here. See, I have removed the CSS of other. Just I use LinkedIn here to work. Why I use LinkedIn because uh, still I'm working on this, and later on I will add the LinkedIn and. Uh, What I have done is extra important. So we have completed this the footer section. How to edit? Just see how the code is being written here. Just implement, and you can change the footer on the inside. And you can also change the class of CSS by editing the class. Just what we do, you have to do is just search the name properly, and please keep the backup of the original file before doing any type of edit. See, there are many type of class. I had also edited the Inner pages like gallery. I had changed the search search CSS. In normal gallery, there is a square box for search, but I had customized this by giving border radius five pixel. I had given a radius of five pixel. Or by checking the properties on Chrome, right click inspect element, and you can see the properties right down here. Search screen reader and see border radius twenty pixel. As I change the radius. This will be changed to square. So we change to square, and as I increase this, this will get. And you can see where it, this is under the widget. This search in CSS where the widget and search for the search element and apply the CSS there. That's it. Or any other query, just put your comments below. Stick to.